The um, switch gear originally for this 1949 burst green tilting bandsaw was made by MEM. Very uh, old English electric company. And generally they would cast their medallions into the castings. So I've, I've, uh, I had a friend, Karen uh, McBride, um, who had to do some cold cast moldings. And she made me a silicone mold. She's left me the silicone products to make more. And this is my first attempt. I'm literally just pouring dyed uh, epoxy into here. And uh, let's see how it turned out. Um, there it is. Uh, pretty decent. Uh, now that's epoxy, so it's pretty decent. I'll carve those off and place them into the thing but it's a really really interesting way and I'll do more videos on it later thank you okay so I've got the casting close enough I'm going to install that now and uh, so I uh, I had to use little spacers uh, a great way to sand these to thickness is actually stick them back in there and then you can sand them uh, still I want that bead a tiny little bead there uh, to just be above and the field of this to be level so I routed out a little recess got some little pieces of epoxy in there so I'm ready to uh, mix up a batch so uh, I probably can get away with a single pump. Uh, I'll add a little black just so I can see the epoxy. Um, that stuff's pretty dense. That ought to be jet black, that, but. And then uh, we'll add our hardener here. This is fairly, uh, this is a fairly long. Working time. So, you know, and it's pretty runny. So mix it good. Now what I'm hoping is I pour enough into the background that I can position that and I'll fill in I'll fill in the edges later. So you can see I got some tiny little tabs. So uh my first time trying this so hoping that it works that's probably more than enough I'll just make sure I that actually might be too much I'm going to say that may be too much. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's get it into those corners. It's pretty viscous stuff. Um, I can see that it's not sitting level. Of course, the epoxy will find its lowest position. So I'll shim these ends up and uh, and see if that makes a difference. That does make a difference. Uh, maybe it's about right there. Um, All else fails. I can get a see if I got a level. And it looks like I'm a little high on that end, but the casting's probably not even. So here we go. The test. Drop that in. I'm thinking I'm too heavy and I don't want to make a mess. 
So um, I'm going to blotter some of that out of there. Uh, just to see if I can reduce the depth to some degree. There we go. Let's, you know, it's easy to put the stuff in. A little harder to get it out. Okay. Here we go. Well, I'm glad I did that because that did come up a little high, but it's hard to say. Um, I found uh, you can wipe to some degree with solvents. So I might be a little high there. Pretty delicate. I'll have to watch out for bubbles. But I think I'm going to leave well enough alone. Looks pretty good. That should paint in just excellently. You know, it's, it's just above that surface. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much it for this stage. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I've, I've got this part ready. That's probably as far as I'm going to go. Um, I'll show you what it looks like with the VFD in. So this door, you can view through here at any, any uh, parameters. If you want to open the, you have access to the VFD. You can program it. Okay, and uh, this is of course gasketed with a shoelace gasket. And uh, so it's, it's accessible, although I'd find that a pain in the ass uh, if it was, um, you know, an overload. And so we've at, added a reset button here so you don't have to go in for that. Um, okay, the seal is pretty good, hardly adding any resistance at all. No, no vapor, no, no. Uh, dust is going to get inside this cavity now. I've added an oiler for the chain, and um, uh, you know the coordination of the boxes. You know, so uh, I'll probably change out this hardware to match uh, this hardware here. Um, little tiny details 
still have yet to make a new bronze uh, angle guide, but um, I am going to add a digital readout right here. Uh, the um, casting turned out pretty good. Uh, I think it looks great. And uh, the overall saw is starting to look jackified. Anyway, that's as far as I'm going to take it. Um, I got to get back to paying work. Thank you.